Hey everyone, so here is exercise 7.4, 10th question. This is the last question in this exercise. This is from fraction chapter of class 6. Question is, in a class A of 25 students, 20 passed with 60% or more marks. In another class B of a 30 students, 24 passed with 16% or more marks. In which class was a greater fraction of students getting with 60% or more marks? So I have already written a statement here. Talking about the two classes, one is a class A and a class B. In a class A, there are total 25 students and in the 25 student, 20 passed. Okay. In case of class B, there are 30 students. Out of this 30, 24 students passed with 60% or more marks. That is the first class actually. So let us write down what we know from the question. So first, I'm going to talk about the class A. So in class A, there are total 25 students. And uh, number of students who are passed are 20. It's a given already. So the fraction will become 20 upon 25 because out of 25, 20 students passed. I'm going to reduce this and just cancel this in 5 table. 5 4s and 5 5s are. So the fraction will be 4 upon 5. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for class B. In a class B, total students are 30. And out of this 30 students, 24 passed with 60% or more, or more marks. So total number of students in the class B will be equal to 30. And how many are passed? In it will be 24. So fraction will become 24 upon 30. So out of 30 students, 24 students are passed. So fraction will be 24 upon 30. We can cancel this in 3 table. That is 3 tens are and then 3 eights are. Or you can cancel this in a 6 table. 6 fours are and then 6 fives are. Fraction will become 4 upon 5. Now, they are asking in which class was greater fraction of students. You can see that both the fractions are same, 4 upon 5. This means that both the classes, the, the fraction will be same. So, both the classes passed with the same fraction, that is 4 upon 5 of the total strength. So, let me conclude here. So, the conclusion will be equal fraction of student Passed, equal fraction of student passed in both classes or you can write down equal fraction of student passed in a first class in both the classes. That's it. The first class means that is getting a 60% or more than that is also called as a first class. That's it. It was a simple question. We have to just find the fraction and just compare it. In this case, the fraction came out to be same. It is 4 upon 5. I hope it's clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, please drop a comment below. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.